looks like it's burning, but it's just steam. So if you see that it's smoking, it's not me. <laughs> it's not on fire. Because um, otherwise that tool would be a crumpled little ball. It's just steam. Um, but again, I think some of that color is going away as well. Yeah, it has to. It has to be evaporating. So no, it's not on fire. It's just like a... Now is it the material you made it out of? Because, you know, other flowers, they do shrivel up. I know. That's because so I designed it's... this for inking. All of my uh, trimmings, if you saw the trimmings in Ideology, that set is just all three white, and they're all for inking. So the same thing like with the, the sheer ribbon. Where's my little thin ribbon card? Same thing. A lot of people thought it was seam binding ribbon. It's not seam binding ribbon. It's a crinkle ribbon. It's designed to take ink and dry with a heat tool. So you're going to have that, just that great quality of a fabric trim that's designed to take ink. And the heat gun. If so it's it, not worth inking, it's not worth doing, right? right. I mean, we gotta, yeah, we gotta get on there and do some inking. Um, grunge, for example, this is this is one of those things that if you've worked with grunge and you have uh, this love or hate relationship with grunge, I use grunge all the time, and I love to ink it and and do things with it. But of course, when you ink it and using the blending tool, it's great. But I mean, it takes quite a few layers to get the intensity that you that you can get with just applying your stain. So that's, I mean, that's another cool thing. If you have chipboard letters or anything porous, you can just apply that. Craft Resist, this is one of the new papers that I did at this show. So this is uh, a stash of paper that is all printed on craft. That's gonna have black images and also it is going to be printed with a clear image. <coughs> so I can just go over this. If I wanted to take this paper, for example, you can see all the pieces that I've used. Yeah. Just use it again and again. I'll just tear this one out. You can, can use it so can craft resist a couple of different ways too. We can go over it with the blending tool. And that's really cool. And it's going to take ink really nice. Let me do it this way. Or I can go over it with the stain. And I can do, let's say we'll just take weathered wood. Whether wood's going to kind of be a gray color, maybe I want to show you fire brick. I mean, this is just so you can see how the colors vary when they dry. Because a lot of times when you're using stain, when I taught this in our workshop here at CHA, you got this. Tim, what's the waiting list to get you into a store? Because um, I know we've been trying to get you for um, a while. If it's new on the list, it's about seven years. It's from Remember When, Valencia, California. Oh, totally. You're on the short list. Shortlist. Yeah, that's it's a good about list. the only time the shortlist is good. Yeah, short, we can get like a hundred Tim Holtz fans sold out there. So yeah, because Valencia, aren't you guys? Um, remember by, with by, Tanya? By Tanya? No, no, Magic Mountain. Yeah, it's five minutes Valencia. from Magic Mountain. So how far is that? From, from here, here, it's like forty miles. Forty. No, 40 it's like thirty miles from here. Oh, that's close. Well, my house is West LA, which is five, five, ten miles. Yeah, so, so it's that's like, totally close. No, you yeah. guys really are so on just, my shortlist. Short so list we should have, we should start a petition and send it to Mario. No petition needed, really. Because we were thinking about doing like do videos, YouTube, and send it to Tim Holtz. I mean, what do we need to do to get Tim Holtz into our store? Yeah, you can do a little skit. Remember, were you at that craft where we were all? Musical would be better. Yeah. Musical would be better. <laughs> we're oh, Glee fans, you okay? So Tanya we've got a like karaoke that. in the store. You just be a Glee. Glee Tanya would love that. That would be perfect. Oh, serious? I'm a Glee. Did you yeah. see them in concert? No. Really? No, I haven't. <laughs> I reckon it's short. I did. <laughs> yeah, I'm a total Glee. I love it. How can you not? We will uh, go to the concert that will happening. get you there any faster. It's happening. <laughs> uh, Each so this, 64 women, we can get them all the This I just wanted to show you that you saw when I applied the stains, it was really dark, really saturated. But of course, when you're working on the craft resist, that as soon as the color dries, it's going to be its true color. I mean, that's weathered wood, so that's going to be kind of our light blue. That's going to be fired brick. That's peeled paint. So it's really one of those things that you've got to remember if you wanted this more intense, the second layer of the color would be a more saturated version of that color. So if you wanted a deeper red or a deeper pink, for example, you could go right over that and you could always layer these stains. They'll always build up, but they'll never become a darker color. In other words, you could never take broken china and expect to get it to be chip sapphire. It just won't ever be that way. The same reason that you can't ever water this down to get it to become weathered wood. They'll always maintain their integrity. I think that's what makes the stain just so exciting for me because it really it just it opens up a whole new way that you can quickly color stuff without sprays and all that.
Couldn't be cooler. Just not Yeah. Any questions? I'm going to clean up. Yo, thank you so much, Tim. Yes.